The victims of a high-profile case of online impersonation now speaking out about their experience. This was a case that generated national attention. Fox 13's Ben Winslow is on Capitol Hill with more. You may recall this case from 2020 where the wife of a Kaysville police officer was accused of posting racist statements on a news station's Facebook page in response to the death of George Floyd. But it turns out she didn't do that. Amber Criddle was the victim of online impersonation. She says things got so intense as a result of that, her family got death threats and they had to move to another county. The woman who impersonated Criddle, named Sembulique Swallow, recently pleaded guilty to federal charges. I cannot tell you how liberating this moment is for me and my entire family. <laughs> After a lengthy FBI investigation and plea conviction, you all now know what we had claimed from the very beginning. Representative Carrie Ann Lisenby actually passed a bill last year to deal with these types of issues. It criminalizes online impersonation, and she says her law now makes it so others will not face the same issues. It's a widespread problem. There is a lot of online impersonation that happens, and so it will just take somebody finding out about it and reporting it and having it prosecuted. But now we have a law in place to do that. Now the feds got involved because Swallow, the woman who impersonated Criddle, lives in Nevada. The Criddle family lives here in Utah. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.